here is what I am wearing today. Good morning, good morning everybody. So I just wanted to film a get ready with you video. So here is what I am wearing today. That's it. Chanel and pearls. Um, I have a closing that's scheduled today. And I'm gonna wear Chanel and pearls to the closing today. Cause I need some kind of motivation cause it was rough. Yeah, I just turned the light off. So, I am going into my office right now to uh, get ready to put my makeup on. So, we can go ahead and get this party started right. Okay, guys. So, in this get ready with me, uh, I showed you guys my outfit. Now, I'm about to put my makeup on. And I'm going to do a real cool lay back neutral look because of course I'm going into the office. I have a closing scheduled for today. Like I'm totally behind scheduling what my normal mode of operandi is. I don't know how I'm so far off track. Um but hey I do what I gotta do. So first things first I just use my water on my face. Next, I am going to add moisturizer, and I am using CeraVe Intensive Care Stretch Mark Cream. I love it. It's a great moisturizer because it has um, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and argan oil. So, those are amazing for your skin. Then, I'm going to add my primer. Primer is my Heart Candy Perfecting Primer. I'm gonna mix them all together. We're in a bun today because that's how I'm gonna keep them. I keep it all together. So, like I said, I'm gonna do a cool lay back, quick look. Well, typically, when I do these type of looks, I thought about doing something else. To me, when I do these type of looks, I do kind of like an all-over foundation. So, I'm going to take my Black Radiance Color Perfecting or Color Perfect Liquid Makeup in the color Espresso, which is 8429. And I'm just going to go in. And typically, I do my eyes first. But... like this mother does not I'll take a little bit of concealer and get it right up under the eyes and I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics uh -oh, foundation brush and I'm going to start Pushing this into the skin. And I'm going to take it all the way over my eyes so I can get a nice blank canvas. I try to avoid doing that because sometimes my poor little eyes don't like it. <laughs> but today, I got to do an all over look. Yes, yes, yes. Today I do a all over very base look. All right, next move, eyebrows. Go ahead and brush these gals up. My eyeliner pencil. Go ahead and. Use that. This is my LA Color Black Brown Automatic Eyeliner Pencil. Just 
two here. And two. Nice and filled in. Go back in with the spoolie. Brush this part up in. And yep. That's how we going. That's how we rolling today. Yep, in the meantime, in between time, I want to just kind of chat with y'all as I'm getting ready. I want to talk about um, kind of what I do. I'm a mortgage loan officer, and I be talking so low, and I be forgetting to put the microphone on. But anyway, I'm a mortgage loan officer, um, and I'm a community mortgage loan officer, so I typically deal, to low to, deal with low to moderate income um, home buyers or first time home buyers. Um, they don't necessarily have to be low to moderate income. Um, but that's typically my market. I do, like I said, I do both. I do all, rather. Um, so that's just, you know, what I do. So I do a lot of community-based things. So I'm always out in the community and um, doing events uh, in the community. Um, and I was doing that before. I uh, even became the community mortgage loan officer for the bank that I work for. I um, I uh, definitely have always been a community advocate. You know, someone that's out in the community wanting to better the community. Um, I've always been a volunteer. You know, many volunteer hours throughout the year. Um, as a member of the Urban League Guild here, as well as, you know, volunteering with my church for various outreach ministries, um, you know, stuff like that. You know, I've always been that person. When I was in college, I did a lot of um, community service things. And so I've always been a nurturer, somebody who's always wanted to give back the same little cicada situation be happening in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night, like it's happening today in the morning. But anyway, so yeah, so that's my, what I do every day. And so today I have a closing that's scheduled. And it, you know, for me, I'm always, you know, I want all of my people to have an amazing experience. Um, if they're working with me as their loan officer. So I, you know, try to create an experience for them. You know, I always try to get them a closing gift, but I don't know how I got behind on this. And my intentions were to do it yesterday. I was gonna leave and, and um, leave the office and get out there and get it done yesterday. That didn't happen. Um, Cause I had a few dilemmas that I needed to get addressed. Anyway, I'm going in with, I'm using my um, beauty book palette that I used in um, one of my recent videos. I'll make sure to put that in the, um, in the cards uh, for you guys to check it out. And I'll probably link it, uh, I'll try to make sure I'll link it in the bio, I mean not in the bio, in the um, description box. I always forget to link stuff in the description box. I like will just like put it in the cards or um, put it at the end of the video on the end screen. And then I realize that hey, sometimes people can't see those when like if they're clicking on the link from Instagram or from Facebook or something like that, they don't get to see the cards. Um, that's only if they search it out or they go directly through YouTube. So I have to remember to link that in the description box for you guys so yeah i'll link it in the description box i'll make sure that i add it in the cards as well um for you guys to check out and i'll probably put it on the end screen um of this video so this is a palette that I'm, that's the palette i'm using anyway so you know i'm vested um in all of my transactions because i honestly you know 
I build a person I build a relationship with all of my clients um, because I want them to be comfortable with me as their loan officer I want them to trust me because in essence I'm asking them for a lot of personal private information and they have to be comfortable with giving that information with me even though sometimes they don't understand why I'm looking for certain things or, or seeking certain things um, I, I try to ask for a lot of stuff up front um, before it even gets to underwriting trying to is anticipate what underwriting may be looking for or may you know need so I try to you know stay ahead of the curve you know with that but sometimes most of the time underwriting always throws me a curveball you know and so I'm like what why huh like why are we asking for this like help me understand like that's all like just help me understand because I just need to know because if I understand then I'm able to better explain it to you know my customers so that's kind of how that goes for me on most transactions um I did you know documenting and things like that um before I even moved over into this department so I'm very familiar with that process so you know I, I, I understand it so you know I try not to fuss too much but sometimes I think it's a little more than necessary but hey I have to remember I went from a commercials went from the commercial side to consumer side and so yeah, consumer tends to need a few more things than what commercial needs but commercial has a whole lot of uh, you know organizational things that you have to have to look at and so you gotta really know how to read like operating agreements and bylaws and look for layered entities and things of that nature so um yeah that's you know you definitely gotta have you know an eye for that um so the detailing that comes behind that is a whole nother ball game um but yeah but with uh, mortgages it's highly regulated so yes there's a lot of things that you got to adhere to because not only are you um, making sure that you're adhering to your organization's um, requirements there are federal requirements that you also have to adhere to you know so it depends on the type of loan that's being done if it's conventional if it's um, FHA you know there's a lot of different regulations that go along with those um, types of loans so you definitely have to make sure that you're adhering um, to those regulations because you don't want to mess on your hand especially when it's FHA so you just want to make sure that all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed when it comes to those loans so I get it um, everybody's job is to make sure that we are protecting the client as well as protecting the institution at the end of the transaction so you know there's certain things that we got to do um so I get that so I'm not too you know I'm never really totally messed up by it but you know sometimes I do get a little flustered I'm just gonna be honest sometimes I do get a little flustered but it's all good it's all good it comes with the territory I signed up for it so you know I got to start doing what I used to do and I don't know why I got out of this practice um, I got to start praying every morning you know asking God to cover my day um, you know I used to go into my office I had blessed oil in my desk and since I'm not even stationary I need to make sure that I put my blessed oil back in my purse y'all I'm tripping because um, I had blessed oil in my desk in my previous position as well as um, Um, in my purse, so I don't know why I took it out of my purse. I don't know what's going on with me. Anyway, <laughs> it used to be my little cosmetic bag, and that's the thing. I stopped taking my cosmetic bag. But that's all right, honey. We about to put it in there. Anyway, I'm going to put it in my computer bag. So I always have it. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it in my computer bag. No, for certain I'll have it then. Cause I won't be going into the office without the computer bag when I'm at home. I got plenty of, of less oil floating around here. Bedroom, kitchen, <laughs> office. So, yeah. I definitely need to get back at that. I kind of slacked off on that. So, we're kind of done with this whole eye situation. I'm just going to kind of try to blend it out a little bit. And I'm um, going to get my eye marker. LA Color Eye Marker. I'm just going to burn my eyes. Get ready. Yep. That's kind of it for me, y'all. I don't have, you know, much going on today. Just going into my other location. Out of there today. I worked at a kind of my main office yesterday. And today I'm going to work out of the other office, which is cool because it's closer to the title company. So I don't have to drive clear across town. Last closing, I had to go from almost downtown. All the way out to the uh, all the way north. I mean, all the way north because I needed to pick up a check. I'm gonna go in with this um, tinted bra gel by Color Mates. Um, just right in here, just so they can stay in bliss for the day. Careful. Oh, I'm gonna be careful with this because I tend to lift my eye up because I knock off that uh, liner. I just take the spoolie whenever I get like liner. I just take the spoolie and then just kind of fix it. <laughs> So now I'm going to go on with my black liner and line my lower lash if I can find it. Lord of mercy. Oh, here it is. I'm going to throw a little lash on y'all. And I know you don't lash it for work. I'm going to throw a little lash on today just today I'm going to live it up today so a little last one for the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to throw a little powder on too make sure that we're set. I'm using Super Stronghold Eyelash Adhesive by Eye Envy. And it's, you know, a wand. So I'm just going to put that on the lash strip. Set up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep, so my day starts about seven thirty and I'm reading emails, sending emails. So 
I like for my stuff to be as soon as I get in in the morning so that it's kind of like a dress except if there's any issues so I'm hoping I'm praying I'm speaking into existence that today is going to be amazing everything is going to happen the way it's supposed to happen everything is going to go off with a hitch without a hitch and that's it and that's what I'm calling into existence this morning I'm going to have a good day it's going to be amazing it's going to be productive it's not going to be stagnant I am not going to have any stressors I'm not going to let anything stress me out and that's it period the end of discussion so where's my I add a little um, pressed powder and I'm using black radiance pressed powder in color ebony and I'm using my um, stippling brush um, that's just what I'm doing today we not we not taking nothing from the devil today y'all <laughs> We not taking nothing from the devil today. We are going to have a good day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. All things are working together for our good. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Go ahead and line our lips. Persia. You're gonna add a little blush though. Kind of doing stuff out of turn. blush using my black radiance <clears throat> artisan bake blush color is one berry oh there we go with that and we're about to be done I didn't bring any mascara in here but that's okay we don't need it go ahead and Hold on. Probably some roll of little hair somewhere. Sticking to the tweezers. All right, All right get a little last today, y'all. Uh, I know I don't normally last for work, but 
feel like giving them a little something, something today. A little something, something for the people. Like, where is all of my lip gloss? Like, I have, like, lost the gloss. Like, what's going on? Got a little tint to it, so. I'm gonna stop at McDonald's and I'm gonna give me some breakfast. I don't feel like cooking today. spray myself with my Sure Envy setting spray, matte setting spray. 12 hour hold. Mm -hmm. And that is it y'all. This is my work look for today. I have my Maybelline Shiny Licious lip gloss that I'm going to take with me. Cause I'm not gonna put any more liner on, but I will regloss throughout the day. So that's it for the face for today. And I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. So this is my get ready with me look for today. Work on this eyebrow a little bit because he's sticking straight up. There we go. Sticking straight, straight up. Lord, help this poor little eyebrow. <laughs> help this poor little eyebrow. These little hairs, they right here. I'm gonna have to give him a little love and attention. Because they, they just sticking out. They right here. Oh my gosh. I think my eyebrows went over there for me. Yes, they do. I didn't know they went over that far. Alright, so that's it. That's all. This is my look for today. I'm about to go and get dressed. Okay, guys. So, I am dressed out the door and headed to the office. I am going to stop at McDonald's and get me something to eat. That is the goal. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today, y'all. Nothing but positivity. Mm, yeah. So, I'm riding on in to work, get my McDonald's, eat in the office. I don't believe I have any meetings today. I think my day is kind of easy so I have time to focus on a couple other things and uh, make a few phone calls some new connections with some um, potential new clients so I am definitely 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 excited about that and I'm definitely definitely excited about the um, closing today I am excited excited I got my note cards after I write a note and then I'm probably going to leave the office today, probably around maybe 1. I'm going to leave around 1, grab me something to eat, and then I am going to go to the store to... Hey, if I get tissue, if I buy tissue paper one more time, y'all, like, I had some in my car and I was keeping it in my car so that I could have it when I, you know, do these closings, but I have taken it in the house. So, I may go back by the house. It depends on how I feel. Because I do technically have to ride past the house in order to get to the title company. So, I'm going to stop at the store and I'm going to get some items. Um, and put together a little basket for, um, for closing. Um, I, like I said, I am like totally behind. Like I normally get have would have my basket done and ready to go like nothing else but um 
skincare. She a little slacking tonight. Uh, this is there's so much going on. I can't even remember why. Like Saturday, I should have got my basket and put it all together and all of that stuff. And I didn't Saturday. What happened to the to the light just there? Different angle. Yeah, so I don't know why I didn't um, do that Saturday. I was uh, had a rehearsal, and then I went out to my parents' house. Um, yeah, and I went I went to the mall. Did I go to the mall? Yeah, I went to the mall because they had the. Um, the soaps at uh, <laughs> Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, they had the soaps that were three dollars, three twenty-five, three twenty-five or three seventy-five. I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, so I had to go get my soap. And then since I was out there at the mall, I was like, oh, I'll just ride out to my parents because I called them on the phone. And so that's kind of where they went. Lighting is horrible, y'all. I so apologize. So that's how I end up. Uh, I don't know why I didn't go to the store because the following day was my sister's birthday. Like, I didn't even have a birthday card for her, which is rare. So, Sunday before we went to dinner, I had to get a birthday card for her. I was looking for her something. I was, I can't even talk today. I was looking for something to get her for her birthday at the mall. And I went to a couple of different stores. I just didn't have anything that was appealing to me that I liked that I would want her to have. So that's kind of how the, that day went. Because I was supposed to meet up with a couple friends like around five-ish. Oh, you know what I mean? But mm, that didn't happen. So I went on about my business and I probably should have stopped and did some errand running before I did that. But anyway. So yeah, that's kind of how that went. That's kind of how that went. Um, yeah. Did I go to Ikea? I think I went to Ikea either. No, I went to Ikea last week. Oh, we child. Am I gonna... Yeah. Do I want to go to Jack in the Box? Do I want to go to Steak and Shake? Or do I want to go to McDonald's? Oh my God, this lighting is trash today. The sun is not being my friend. But anyway, so I'm gonna get off of here so I can pay attention and I can figure out exactly what it is that I wanna eat today. So y'all have an amazingly blessed day, okay? Bye. Brighter mm -hmm. now that I remove.